What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? How you bossing, squad? How you bossing? It's your girl Kaylee, and I am back. I'm so sorry that it took me this long to get back to you guys. We left off on October 31st, the last day of Vlogtober of 2020, and I am back. I know it's been about what? A month and a half. Today is the 18th. Ah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but it's been a lot going on. Your girl been busy. Your girl has been busy. So let me update you on a few things. As you can see, I took my faux locks down, and the fro is flourishing. I ain't never been able to do this, y'all. I just told my mama that I ain't never been able to do this. Like hang time in the front. But yeah, um, I will do my official lint check. I've just been trying to give it some good conditioning and some tender loving care, some TLC. But the fro is flourishing. I'm um, just going to do a little simple here. Up. Up, up, up. Let's see. The fro is flourishing. So that's that's one thing. I, I took those down Halloween. I was eating my pizza and taking my hair down. And two, I've just been trying to decompress. I have been dealing with school, trying to finish strong. Um, if you have been following me for a little while now, you know that I was worried about my accounting finance course um, because I had kind of did not so good the first time around since I was in the hospital. But safe to say that baby girl has done well this semester. I ended with a 3.5. Yes. A 3.5, yes. So yeah, I'm good on that. So I've just been kind of decompressing, trying to relax and focus in on what I need to be focusing in on now during the holiday season. I've been doing a lot of baking, strategizing, baking. <laughs> I've been baking. I've been baking up a storm, strategizing for me and my mom's organization and new projects to come. A few things that will be coming. Um, again, I told you my lint check will be coming. Your girl is down five pounds, five pounds. And so we'll be kicking off the keto full force at the top of the year. So meal planning and workouts will be coming. Um, and of course, what are we here for? Music, new music will be dropping. So I'll give you an update on the final date, but yes let's get into the things that i learned during vlogtober number one i came out of my shell if you know me you know me personally you know that i was a shy kid growing up you'll know that i'm i'm mostly quiet for the most part unless i really have something to say or i really 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 know you but vlogtober forced me to Face a fear, which is get on this camera. <laughs> Number two, it taught me to talk. Like I said, I don't I don't really talk unless I really know you, but the squad, I feel like I know you. I feel like I know you personally. So if you here, show me some love. Go ahead and tap that like button. Drop down below and say, Boss K, you talk that talk. <laughs> But yeah, it, it forced me to really talk. I challenged myself because I didn't think that I would be able to talk this much on camera, but I learned that I could talk more than three minutes. Most of my videos ended up being around seven, eight, even up to 15. I didn't think that I would, I would be able to free flow like that. But yeah. Number three, it taught me how to plan and edit quickly. Now that's one thing, editing takes time. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. But editing takes time. So to crank out those videos day after day for 31 days, you know, for first prep, record, then edit. So it taught me effective ways to get my content out quickly. Um, I even had an issue with videos to upload. I, if you, like I said, if you're a YouTuber as well, you know, you know how long it takes for a video to upload. I found a couple corners 
to cut to make sure that my videos uploaded within a good time. I cut my time in half. I cut it down to about one and a half to two for the most part if I kept my video under nine minutes. Number four, number four, it taught me networking. I have been able to actually reach out to people, let them know what my page is about, um, get them engaged, um, be able to talk about possible networking in other areas and things like that. That's just another extension of coming out of my shell, being able to talk to people. So it gave me a chance to really practice my pitch when it comes to my YouTube, whether it is coming to my music, whether it's just me, my whole brand, it can help with your pitch as far as who you are and who you want to be in your career field for potential employees. So this whole process has been good on my communication skills. And number five, final number five, it taught me to believe in myself. I set a goal. I set a precedent. I set a goal on what I wanted to accomplish in the month of October, along with many others who participated in Vlogtober. And I dominated do you know how much that has boosted my morale like it's amazing i felt so accomplished i felt ready i felt ready to take on the world even though i took a, a six weeks hiatus i'm ready to get back into it especially with 2021 coming in fresh new start more content, more things to talk about, more opportunities to network and just communicate with people. And I enjoy it. I really, really enjoy it. So it gave me a boost in my faith in myself. Those are my five things that Vlogtober has taught me. Um, I won't be doing Vlogmas, obviously. We're already halfway through the month. Um, it, I will say Vlogtober and vlogging every day is exhausting. It is, it's fun, but it is exhausting. So I gave myself a break. Um, maybe next year, maybe next year I'll skip Vlogtober and do Vlogmas because Christmas time is my favorite time of the year. But yeah, until then, go ahead and hit that like button, comment and subscribe. If you did Vlogtober or if you're doing Vlogmas, let me know what is the process teaching you. I will have more coming. I will be doing so much more, but I'll try to get you some more content out this month. But be ready for 2021. Be ready for 2021. Kaylee is coming for y'all. So stay tuned for the big things that I have coming. More of me. Who who doesn't want more of me? <laughs> but yes, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, tell me how you bossing. <laughs>